Okay, in actuality, every time I think of a criminal thought, like, all right, so if my struggles were with substance abuse, every time I think of a criminal act to rectify my financial situation, every time I'm frustrated to the point where I want to hurt somebody due to what is being done to me, Every time I have any urge or crave to do something criminal or even immoral, that's taken me out of my present day thinking. It's not that I wasn't, that's the urges and cravings. I know ways to get out of this. I know ways to make money. I know ways of doing stuff criminally. I know I'm not doing that. I'm being stalked and all they want is leverage and I'm not giving them none. That's how I ended up in jail last time. But every time that happens, like I got to deal with that. I got to sit in that frustration i gotta sit in that anxiety i gotta sit in that whatever it is that though i gotta sit with those urges and cravings whether it's to knock it upside the skull go get a pack or like you know what i mean sell a body you get what i'm saying <coughs> i gotta deal with situations knowing like there's ways of making lucrative money immorally but it's not illegal but still i don't want no parts of it because i can make less money doing the things that i can do but still a good, good enough amount of money. So like, it's kind of irritating to me. But so I don't ever, I sh to me, I shouldn't even have to think immoral, let alone illegal, you get what I'm saying? So anytime that that creeps in my head, anytime I got to fight against those urges and cravings, anytime I get that frustrated because of people intentionally tormenting and teasing and terrorizing me while I'm sitting next to them, knowing I'm trying to, Stay on the straight and narrow. I'm not trying not to go back to jail. I'm not trying to make a mistake. And you're sitting out there bragging about weenie crimes that I could like, yeah, you know I mean, anytime I feel like I, sh I want to put you in a dumpster, like that's mental anguish. Like you're intentionally causing these things. And then the fact that I have to sit in it and I overcome my shit and you got people snapping on me for your entertainment, like, and I collect the Karen activity because it's way out of everything you do is extra. I just don't know who you are. I know like a joke. It's like a, a reality show, an unscripted reality show. It's like you trap me in these situations of drama until like a drink is thrown and then security breaks out. I'm not interested in that. I just want to live a normal life. I got products I want to promote. I got businesses I want to do well. I got things that I promote on social media, but like, no, nah, I'm not really seeking fame. I don't give a fuck about fame. I want my goddamn money. And right now, with all the hoopla and distractions and smoke and mirror, a lot of people are cybercrime the shit out of me. And then some people are trying to discredit me to help people cybercrime me. And nah, man, this shit is like every day. It's a regular. It's a regular uh, crime now. Every day, two, three stories about cybercrime. So you gonna tell me I'm crazy? <laughs>